All right, well here we are inside the cabin. And man, there is a lot of room in this thing. This boat is wide. Anyhow, let's start in the back here. We have a nice area to hang our wet fishing gear, our wet clothes. We're going to dry them out back here in the back. Definitely a place to stack some gear, whatever you like. You can see our countertop here. Directly under that is the little 12-volt refrigerator. This is not an ice box, it's an electric refrigerator. We have a sink here. Underneath the countertop is a nine gallon fresh water tank. We have an electric pump, so we've got running water and fresh water there. You can see underneath, lots of storage. The metal box you see down there, that's a diesel fuel tank. A diesel fuel tank goes right here. So this is our Wallace two burner diesel cooktop. So we have a nice area we can be cooking two things at once. When we fold down the lid on this guy, it starts pumping heat out into the cabin. And this produces quite a bit of heat as it is, too. So this, go, this is fed from the fuel, the fuel tank down underneath, and uh, that is filled by a deck fill on the outside, so we're not messing with any portable tanks or whatnot. So diesel, the reason we like diesel for heat or our fuel is it's, it's a safer fuel, um, but also as a heat, it's a drier heat. It's uh, not damp heat like alcohol or propane is. Alcohol or propane creates warmth, but doesn't necessarily create a dry heat. So if we're trying to dry out the cabin, dry out any moisture, condensation, or wet fishing clothes in the back, the diesel's a much better heat for that. Up here in the front, got our captain's chair. It's very adjustable. From the backrest tilts forward and back, the armrests on each side. It has four different height adjustments. It slides forward and back. Up here in the front, this to, to adjust the ride, depending on the size of the person or the size of the waves, we can smooth things out with this. Nice seat. I like that. I like that. Well, we have binnacle controls here for our twin 150 horse Yamahas out back. I like this option too. Nice big windows. They have screens also. But anyhow, there's six windows in this cabin. These are all diamond sea glaze windows, custom built for our boats. So top of the line. So there's two on each side of the cabin here, these big ones. There's two smaller ones in the back. There's one in the head and at the back of the cabin here. Again, all sliding, locking, screened windows. And there's two more down in the cuddy in the V-berth area. So we can get a lot of air moving in the cabin. They all have screens again and they're all locking. So very nice. See a little bit more storage up here. These run along the top of the windows on each side. This is another uh, option in the pilot house package. So nice place to stuff some maps, roll up some charts, throw some gloves, whatever it is you have. I'm sure you'll find something to throw up there. Up front, you'll see these little ducks here. Where do these come from? Well, we have a Wabasto diesel forced air furnace. That guy's back behind this panel. It is also fed off the same fuel tank that the Wallace comes from. Now, it has a digital thermostat back there on the countertop, but this here will defrost the windows, and there's another uh, duct underneath to heat up in the, uh, heat the cabin. This will definitely uh, warm you right out of here. It produces a pile of heat. We tried it out the other day. I was warm. So, anyhow, let's go take a look at the back of the cab. Well, right here's the head. I'm about six foot three, so height and room is important to me. I still have headroom in this thing. Now when I'm sitting down, I've got lots of room for my knees and legs. This is much better than an airplane lavatory, I'll tell you that. All I need now is a magazine and definitely some toilet paper. No, I'm just kidding. But anyhow, we have a 20 gallon holding tank down below. There's a macerator pump. There's a, a fill out from the outside to suck things out if we need to. And there's also a, a dump underneath the boat as well so we can get rid of stuff if we are far enough out. So lots of room. There's glass windows on each side. And there's the opening one in the back, which some of you guys are gonna need for ventilation, I'm sure. But anyhow, there's curtains here for privacy. Why do we have windows in the sides of this thing? It's not so everybody can look at you. It's so that the driver does not have a blind spot back behind his left shoulder. So when he looks back, turns around, he can still see out throughout the cabin, pulling into marinas and whatnot. It makes it a lot easier, but we can slide our curtain shut and get some privacy in here. So, all right. So now we're hungry. You're gonna have something to eat. You've seen the dinette here. Have a seat. This is a nice large dinette. Again, I'm 
about six foot three and there's definitely room for four of me to sit around this table which is a big deal room and space is a big deal to me so uh, th th that's another thing many of the dinettes that I've seen are much smaller and it's realistically maximum definitely two people here you can obviously fit uh, four people my size in here now if we're underway I don't always want to have to be turning around to look where we're going this is another cool feature that we do here it's that easy the backrest slides back and we're facing forward which is nice I want to see where we're going now I bet you're wondering does this turn into a bed well yes it does turn into a bed I'll give I'll go through that real quick with you and show you how it works it's nice and easy to do first of all this backrest get that guy back there I'm gonna move my cushions now the table here is a gas shock it doesn't just slide down in there like most it goes down in and then it'll lock it's easy to mess with put my cushions back and then the main one we're good to go again I'm about 6'3 oh I've got some nice room here laying down I could easily take a nap but you can see I got room to scoot up if I need to it's nice and big good spot to take a nap definitely and I'll show you how quick and easy it goes back to a table Also, you may have noticed down underneath these boxes, there's quite a bit of storage underneath here. In the front one, we have storage. In the back one here, there's lots of little drawers. So, nice place for all the ladies to hide all their little things. <laughs> but this table, how does it come back up? You've seen in many campers or whatnot, you kind of got to fight these things back into the upright position. This one here, I just reduced the knob, and up it comes nice and easy well that's that and we're back to a table it's very easy so there's lots of storage down below this guy too if you cut take come take a look down here with me you can see underneath I got a place to stuff things under there underneath the floor this is a quite a large storage area down below here again I already showed you what's beneath here and let's go take a look at the front of the boat in the cuddy okay well you can see the great visibility up here at the front um, on each there's three windows here on each one we have a panograph wiper that's standard on all models see a little fan here this is an option in the pilot house option so if we're blowing air on the driver or just blowing air on the windshield whatever you'd like to do with it there's a nice generous area up here for electronics this panel comes off we can access our wiper motors or we can flush mount CD players VHF radios that's common to do in this boat so it's a nice spot for it a little place to keep some stuff up here and not lose it let's go check out down below again leg room and 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 area and height is a big deal for me because I'm about six foot three so is my dad but there's a lot of storage in here too being that I'm down here under both the driver his foot here passengers we can access quite a bit of storage under you can see under the cutty cushions I could easily climb down there fit in there's lots of lots of storage anyhow let's get to this bed again I'm 6'3 let's see I don't bottom out that's where I bottom out so you could easily lay another guy my size right next to me and still have comfortably enough room to sleep in here there's curtains on each side we can pull these curtains across and give somebody some privacy up in here if that's what they need now a really cool feature in this boat that we came up with uh, that, that works on any of our pilot house models whether it's a 23 all the way up to this boat which is a 29 
is our new access out of the bow. And I'll show you how this works, but we obviously have a very gracious walk around around the outside, which you saw me come around, but not everybody wants to go, go around the outside if we have some rough weather or maybe they just don't physically feel comfortable. And we gotta get out there and deal with the anchor, some rope, or maybe we're pulling up to a dock or a beach and gonna drop some people off. This new door we had built for us, specifically for our boats by Diamond Sea Glaze, makes it easy to get up and out of here. And it's the most gracious size door that I've seen. So, move some cushions here. Two gas shock pedestals, the thing opens very easy. And I stand straight up and down and walk out. I don't gotta crawl through any doors or skylights. And you can see it doesn't restrict the visibility of anyone inside again because it's glass. You can see again how easy it rises. Gas shock pedestals, nice door. Come back in. And it's that easy. So that's huge, I think, in getting in and out of the bow of this boat. Man, that opens easy. And I could walk straight up out of this door. Nice access up to the bow if they're dropping me off on a dock or I need to mess with the anchor. And again, the glass gives us good visibility from the inside. We're still not obstructing anything, even with the doors open. Well, we're gonna head over to the water pick up a friend of ours, retired pro bowler Seahawk, Rob Tobeck. Go run it around and see what it does on the water. Why don't you come with us? I'll see you out there.